we shall now discuss MPPT. What is MPPT? What is the concept of MPPT? So we shall uh, do that just now. MPPT stands for Maximum PowerPoint Tracking. So MPPT. What does this mean? See, in the case of the photovoltaic modules, there is one single operating point at any given point in time where maximum power can be drawn. So we need to locate this point, track this point and see that the operating point of the PV module is always at that point or hovering near or around that point. The process of doing this, always trying to maintain the operating point of the PV panel at maximum power point is called the maximum power point tracking. Consider this simple circuit. We have the photovoltaic module connected to a simple load or not, a simple resistive load or not. R not is a variable resistance. Now what happens when we sweep R0 from a short virtual actual short circuit 0 to open circuit? We can see that in the IV characteristic of the PV panel. That is, we measure the V here and the I here, and then we plot the V on the x-axis, plot the I, uh, I on the y-axis. Uh, this is approximate. Uh, the IV curve of the PV panel. We see this line here, this line where on which I am drawing, uh, I am uh, moving the mouse along. Now that is called the load line. We have discussed this load line in week 2. You can refer back to that. Now this load line is nothing but the ratio of delta I by delta V which is 1 by R0. So if I move this load line along such that it is along the x-axis like this, then 1 by R0, the slope of that line is 0, therefore R0 has to be infinity. So which means that this is open circuit across the terminals. Similarly, if we rotate the lo load line such that the slope is infinite and aligned along the y-axis then the operating point represents R0 as a short circuit R0 is equal to 0. So for any arbitrary operating point I will keep it like this and this operating point should represent the peak power that is being drawn. Now consider this modified figure, RT is the resistance seen across this terminal viewed from the PV module side. So viewed from here, the uh, terminal resistance is called RT and that is what I am using for load line. So this is the load line having an admittance 1 by RT. Now this IV characteristic of this particular PV panel let us say is like this and uh, the point of intersection of the load line 1 by RT line with the IV characteristic is the operating point. Now on to this let us superpose the power curve. Power P versus V. So this is the P versus V curve. We have seen this earlier. So I am just uh, introducing this power curve into this figure. Now somewhere here is the peak power point. So the tangent to that uh, hill there would be the peak power point. So we will call that one as PM and let me mark the 
uh, peak power here with an X mark. Now if you draw that line straight through the peak power point and make it intersect to the IV characteristic. So what is what is the Y intercept that is called IM, whatever is the X intercept that is called VM. So VM is the voltage at peak power operating point, IM is the current at peak power operating point, VM into IM will be PM. So this will be the operating point, this is how it will look like, the operating point at uh, peak power. If the load line is shifted to the right from the operating point which represented the peak power point as shown here, which means that the slope has decreased, that is RT has increased, RT has increased implies that R0 has increased, it has gone more towards the open circuit. And with this operating point, which is the point where the load line intersects with the IV curve, you see the Y intercept is an arbitrary I, X intercept is an arbitrary V and the, inter the intersection with the P, P curve or the power curve is here X as shown and it is much away from the peak power point. So the, this operating point does not draw the peak power from the PV panel, it draws a power much less than the PV panel. If we shift the load line to the left, implying that RT has decreased, RT decreased means R0 has decreased, it is going towards short circuit. So in such a case also, you will see that the Y intercept is closer to the short circuit current value, the X intercept V is some arbitrary voltage V and it cuts the uh, and the uh, vertical line drops down and intersects the power curve at this point x and you see that this operating uh, this operating point results in a power drawn which is much lesser than the peak power so it's only at this operating point here you see that the power drawn from the pv panel is maximum then we say that the this operating point is tracking the maximum power point or it is drawing maximum power from the PV panel. So it is our job now to see that the load line is always at around this point such that maximum power is always drawn. Now the problem would arise what if R0 changes? If R0 changes this load line has to change either to the right or to the left. The load line uh, slope will either increase or decrease. If that happens, then the, uh, the uh, corresponding maximum power point will be lower as we saw. Then in that case, how do we still maintain the operating point to be at this point as shown here such that the power drawn is maximum. For that, we need to introduce an interface here a power interface. Now the job of that power interface is to see that RT is always at this operating point whatever may be the value of R0. This block is called a power interface. It can be a DC-DC converter. It needs to have a control input the job of the power interface with the control input is as follows. If R0 changes, the control input should be tweaked such that the input impedance of the power interface which is same as RT is maintained constant. So input impedance should be regulated. So whatever may be the value of R0, the swing in R0, the control input should accordingly change in such a way 
that the input impedance of this power interface block is made constant. In such a case, RT, the terminal impedance as seen from the PV module will remain fixed or constant irrespective of the value of R0. In such a case, as the PV module is seeing only RT and that is fixed and therefore this load line will be fixed and the load line will see to it that maximum power is being drawn from the PV panel. So this is called maximum power point tracking and this concept of this ma maximum power point tracking is very crucial if you want to utilize the uh, PV module to the fullest extent. How does one give the control input? Now that is uh, where uh, we need to do some sensing and then we need to uh, pass it through a controller and appropriately give the control input in such a way that RT is regulated and kept constant in the face of varying or not. We shall of course look at uh, what are the different types of control mechanisms that we can apply to this control input. Consider the maximum power point tracking topology with a power interface, the input impedance RT, which is also the terminal impedance of the photovoltaic module, R0, R0 is the load or the application load which is varying, not under your control. The power interface for a DC application where the output uh, load requires a DC voltage, we will use a DC-DC converter which has a control input and the control input for a DC-DC converter is duty cycle D and that is the control input. The DC-DC converter can be any of the topologies that you are familiar with. You have the isolated and the non-isolated topology. In the non-isolated, we have the primary topology that is the boost step up, buck converter, step down converter, the buck boost converter and the isolated topology you can use probably the flyback converter, forward converter, push pull, half bridge converter, the full bridge converter and so on. So the, all these converters and any other converters uh, that you are, uh, your application demands, you could use it as a power interface appropriately such that the duty cycle if it is controlled should be able to control the input impedance and therefore the terminal impedance uh, as seen by the photovoltaic module. If the application is an AC application that is the load demands an AC voltage then you need to use a DC to AC converter or an inverter and uh, that also needs to have a control input which is also duty cycle and we will see that also how we go about uh, doing maximum power point tracking for a load that demands AC voltage. Let us see how we give this control input to the DC-DC converter in a generic way in such a way that RT is regulated. So we need to measure two items. One is the voltage across the photovoltaic module. The other is the current that is flowing through the photovoltaic module. So basically the source, the PV source voltage and currents, terminal voltage and currents. Now these two inputs are needed. Now these two is processed appropriately. There are different algorithms to process that. We'll discuss that later and then out of it comes the reference so a reference generator this block can be considered as a reference generator using the INV a reference is generated and that reference is compared with another variable 
which is the actual variable which is also sensed, measured, such that RT will be maintained constant. So generally this will be a power variable. Again we will discuss there are different control topologies. So what is the feedback variable and what is the reference variable is basically the uh, concern in most MPPT and uh, uh, how it is designed and developed uh, will be discussed in uh, discussions to follow. So right now uh, consider that there will be a reference which will be generated appropriately and there will be a feedback variable. These two will be compared and the error is passed to a PI controller. A controller like this uh, uh, will see to it that the error here goes to zero in which case the feedback will match the reference and under that condition MPPT would have been achieved. So this PI controller output will lead to a PWM block. It will generate the PWM necessary for uh, giving the duty cycle control to the DC-DC converter. So this would be the general topological uh, block diagram block schematic of any uh, maximum power point tracking uh, system. You, you will need the voltage and the current sensing. You will need a controller, something like this, PI controller and PWM, which will be given to the duty cycle control input of the DC-DC converter. The DC-DC converter or any general DC-DC converter that fits your application which you would have pre-chosen. Now what we shall do is look at this block, the power interface block. First let us consider DC applications. So we will discuss about DC-DC converters. First the primary DC DC converters so that we get an idea uh, of how we would go about doing MBPT. So let us investigate this block, interpose uh, actual, uh, an actual DC-DC converter circuit and see how this whole control mechanism operates to regulate RT in such a way that the maximum power is drawn from the photovoltaic module.